Kerrang! Magazine was doing a, um, it's the 20th anniversary of Master of Puppets, and um, they approached us about doing a song. They were gonna have, you know, a different band do a song, each song. We picked a song right when I had joined the band, like as soon as I was in the band, Machine Head ran a covers contest for the people on their message board. Basically, we were gonna let all the kids pick uh, cover songs we were gonna do. And um, we let them just throw any song, you know, they threw thousands and thousands of songs at us. We narrowed it down to um, 10 songs, and then they got to pick the three songs that we covered. And they picked uh, Battery by Metallica, they picked Jizz Lover by Faith No More, and they picked uh, you know, another song that shall remain nameless. We, we wanted to do either Battery or Damage Incorporated. And, um, after a little bit of going back and forth on that, we decided to do Battery because, I mean, it was the album opener and just, pff, fuck, dude, it's Battery. It's heavy hitting as fuck. You know, it was a trip, man, because we've been, I've been listening to that song forever. You know, I've known how to play it, like, forever. Learned it years ago. And, uh, you know, just even fucking around with it for the, uh, the thing we did on the website was, you know, we had, we had learned it, you know, but we had never sat down. Headphones, you know, speakers, okay, you know, I'm sitting down and learning it, you know, exact. Definitely had to do some, do some wrist push-ups and a lot of calisthenics, man. It's such, such an amazing, you know, Hetfield is, Hetfield's the man. And such a such a killer song, so, you know, the perfect, it's the quintessential opening track as far as I'm concerned. So it, it was a little tough, you know, like, Lars, I gotta give him all the credit in the world, man. That guy played his fucking ass off on that record and, and just like doing really weird stuff, you know, off the wall, not your typical, you know, everyday metal 101 kind of stuff and just really tearing it up. So playing it, you know, learning some of the stuff and it was just, it, it was hard. Adam did an amazing job learning the, learning the Cliff stuff, and uh, Dave doing the Lars stuff, and you know learning Kirk's. You know I've always been a Kirk fan, but uh, I definitely have a, a newfound respect for the man. You know, quick, really quick left hand, and uh, definitely respect out to all those guys for sure. <laughs> on our guitars, this guy named Al Milburn over in Berkeley, his, uh, his partner in the, uh, in the business he does, builds like acoustic guitars, classical guitars, and, and uh, regular acoustic guitars, and he was going to loan us this like pretty nice guitar, we went over there, and I went over there today and was just rapping with him, he was like, here, you know, why don't you, why don't you try this one, and, you know, these ones are pretty nice, yeah, these are the ones I make, and so, trying it like, yeah, this is awesome. So, he lent us his, his $8,000 <laughs> classical guitar. John Mello. Uh, John, yeah, John Mello. He kicks ass. <laughs> about it still it's got a lot of machine head flavor to it and um, and you know that's just something that we try to I guess we can't really help putting it into whatever we do we kept it our own but you know we we did do a couple things that made it more machine head like we kept you know we tuned it down um, I think theirs is originally tuned to E and our highest tuning is uh, C sharp so it's in C sharp you know makes the vocals a little more rah. it was cool you know production wise um, when we went into the production aspect of it like one of the things that I wanted to do 
was uh, I, I wanted to kind of give it a more like a, you know, I knew we weren't going to have like a lot of time to mix it or spend on doing that stuff. So I kind of went for more of like a like a garage days feel, like real kind of wide open, like punk rock feel. <laughs> It's cool, man. We're really, you know, we're really honored to be a part of that whole thing, and um, you know, to to give that album some props. It was such an influential band on uh, me musically, and I, you know, I know the other guys in the band. You know, Metallica for for us was like, you know, they were, you know, the kings. That was my favorite band at the time. It was just like, fuck, dude, it doesn't get any heavier than Metallica. I'm excited about it, man. I like. I think people are going to be really, you know, stoked when they hear it. Um, you know, I think. I think the Metallica guys. You know, I think they're going to be super stoked when they hear it, man. Because you know, I think we really did it justice, and I'm. I can say I'm really proud of what we did. What will Metallica think of it when they hear it? I think that they'll be. Uh, I think they'll be impressed, and I think that they'll be proud of you know their their Bay Area brethren. Uh, well, probably more like nephews, <laughs> have, have done them right. You know, we really respect the band and they're, you know, a huge influence on us. And, um, yeah, I think that they would be proud to have that on there.